Another command that you might actually use, find useful, um, I'll go through the loft command. The first thing I'll do is um, create a line with smooth corners and a series of um, vertices and then I'll create a shape using this little ngon uh, object type I'll create a shape in this sh um, that has five sides pentagon and what the loft <coughs> what the loft command will do is it will um, make this shape follow a path that you specify by way of um, polyline okay so there might be uses for this there might not and I'll take you through one use in particular um, so note that with this line I can actually select these different vertice points and using the four viewports by clicking this thing in the bottom right I can drag them around Oops. like so <clears throat> and then what I can do is make, using this loft command going back over to standard primitives using the drop down going down to compound objects and maximizing my viewport so I'm working back in this few, four viewport mode and actually what I'll do quickly is in the modified tab I'll change the color of these lines so they're a little bit easier to see like so using this little button on the end. I'm going to select my uh, line which will be my path for my loft. I'll choose the loft button and then under creation method what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want to get the shape. Okay, And then what I do is I just hover over the little shape that I made and there you can see that it's now applied that shape along that path. Okay and there's a whole series of parameters that you can change. One that should be noted is the either creating by instance or by copying. If it's done by instance I can actually go back and I can change the original geometry and it will change in real time the, um, the, the size of the little shape along the line. Okay. So to re repeat that command just to give you an example of it again what I'll do is I'll, I've just selected the line that's actually hidden within this bit of geometry we created holding shift I drag it off to the side and I'm going to make a clone of it I could um, <coughs> then just grab these points here I might just change the shape of it a little bit again like so I'll create another shape here. This time what I'll do is I'll just use the star. All right. And I can change the inner radius and the outer radius of this star and I can change how many points are on the star. Okay. Like so. And using the loft command, so going back over to geometry, making sure that compound objects is selected. I can then select the line, I press loft, I then press get shape and I highlight over the shape and it will then apply that shape to the line. Okay, and the, you, can, uh, you can see here that I've zoomed in on the, the end of it. I'll just change the colour so again it's a little bit clearer for you guys to see and it's uh, warped and twisted and bent this sh this shape around the line, the pattern of the line. If you actually wanted to change the resolution of it uh, under skin parameters, you can actually step up the amount of vertices. Okay, so the more you put in, the smoother that shape gets, as you can see. And remember that because we've done it by instance, I can go back, I can grab that original shape, and I can change it. Okay, so if you wanted to then make it uh, have more points, you can do so. Alright, now this is a piece of geometry 
and this piece of geometry we can actually now boolean out of another object we can use the scatter command as we did the other day so there's a whole array a whole heap of things that you can do uh, the other way that you can use the loft command if I create another line altogether <coughs> sorry start again I'll just do a short line this time like so I'm going to hit E for the, to activate the rotation command I'll hit A which activates this little angle snap and you can see here that I can then twist it around by a specified percentage in five uh, five degree increments I can <coughs> actually apply the loft command in reverse so if I go back to my geometry creation compound objects tool I can click star I can actually start with the shape and I can get the path so it's in the reverse order and you'll see there that it's applied um, the shape to um, sorry the path to the shape which is in reverse and I'm assuming as long as we do it by instance we can then go back to this line and grab the point and move it and you'll see that it actually deforms the original or the, the sorry not the original the new loft okay so that might be handy